what's up? It's your girl Maddie D from This Is The Plug. And we in Atlanta right now. I'm getting y'all plugged in. I'm here with my boy Sean Brown. What's happening, man? I'm fucking with the plug. Shout out to the plug radio. I appreciate you, Maddie. I'm rocking with you. See, I need my cash quick. Sound like her body. Don't cause no accident. Bitch, just shut up and drive. And the truth don't tell no lie. My crew gon' pull up and ride. Pull up, shoot you and your guys. And now we ain't let shit slide. What up? I'm here with Sean Brown. We lit in Atlanta. Yeah, I'm excited to be here, so. Tell everybody that's viewing right now a little bit about you, yourself, your sound. Um, well, I'm Sean Brown, artist based out of East Atlanta. Uh, my sound is very unique. Uh, I don't sound like nobody. It's just, I mean, it's just my voice. Um, my music is motivational to some, and you know, others. It's, it's uh. <laughs> I guess I don't, I don't know, but yeah, I mean, you know, rapper, artist, um, trying to get into producing, but uh, I have a couple of line that I need to focus more on, so that's me, I'm trying to be a mom. So tell me a little bit, you said that your music is motivational, tell me a little bit about the music that motivates you. Uh, music that motivates me. Nipsey. I just like I like Definitely. I like hearing you know what I mean. Like I just I like hearing the struggle and how you get out of the struggle because a lot of people that's in it right now probably think that it's, it's no way possible we don't ever be able to even take a trip to Hawaii. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. I, just, I like music that motivates you to believe that you know what I'm saying. Hey, this ain't really that hard. Like you can do it. We can all do it. I did it and I came from a worse scenario than you. So like Nipsey, um, even Drake, like Drake. Is a good example because he didn't really come from the slum, so to speak. So everybody, you know what I'm saying, be talking about that. But I look at it from a perspective of he came from like a like a Disney t Channel kind of <laughs> show. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He, he never would have thought like a, a dude could come from a situation like that and be like on top of the rap game. But he showed like, hey, you could even come from. So I just like you know what I'm saying. Situations where it's just like you can do and be whatever you want to be. Well, tell us a little bit about you and like. How you got into doing music and? Um, well, I I always had a love for music. My older siblings did music. Always in the music industry. Had a lot of friends in the music industry. Uh, I came up under Bank Road Fresh. Uh, Little Scrappy used to get his hair done by my sister. Like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Crime Mob was always around. Coming up, so I I came up like under music. Wow. So I was, it was kind of forced on me. Yeah. So to speak, but I, I I grew to love it. You know what I'm saying? I took it. I started taking it serious. Like around my senior year of high school, I'm just like, I don't really see myself doing nothing else. So I'm gonna just, you know what I'm saying? I'm just get into the music, and I started pursuing it. Even in college, I went to college at Savannah State, and I just started learning more about the business. You know what I'm saying? Business side of it, mm -hmm. where the money actually come from, and I just, you know, piecing everything together now. So. I just so, did you do any shows in college? <laughs> what was what was like your first show that you did? Um, strip club, strip club. <laughs> our win. We did our first show with this strip club called Karma. Um, I had put a group together called Higher Living in college, and it was just like, I know, you know, what I'm saying, you an artist, you an artist, you do camera work. You, do, I just try to piece everything together. It's like we all need each other. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. We need each other pop so. We put a group together and we did our first show slash party at uh, this club called Karma. Shout out to Karma. The strippers got shot a few times, but they did. Oh. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's, it's straight. You know what I'm saying? No disrespect to the strippers that Karma. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it was, that, that was a good experience because it kind of showed us how this industry really worked. So, so you've probably been a part of a few shows. What, what, what show would you say is your favorite that you've been a part of? My favorite show. I actually hosted my own show lit. last year, um, around September. That was lit the, from the experience of throwing a show. Um, so that was, I'm gonna say it was my favorite because it was mine, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. uh, so look out for another 404 concert, that was lit. But I will say, um, I got some brothers that work at Street 945 here in Atlanta. They hosted this um, 
showcase called Underrated AM. Yeah. And basically just giving a, a spotlight to the artist that, not even that they feel like it's underrated, if you feel like you're underrated, you know what I mean? You feel like you don't get enough shine out here in the city. Ain't nobody really noticing what they should notice about your career. Here's your platform, so. And you've been putting in the work. Yeah, that. That show right there, it was so well put together. It was almost like performing for a major, like a summer jam or some mm-hmm. shit like that. Like it felt like as a as a, as a you know up and coming artist, you were established artist. Like they really made you feel like right, you need to be here from this time. This is when you perform. This is when you perform. So and it was so serious. Like everything was just put together. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And it even showed me how to throw better shows. Shout out to DC Ferrari Simmons and uh, BT man. Yeah. Fast. Fast. Y'all really, and Mr. V, y'all really show niggas how to really, you know what I'm saying, put something together, so that's probably my favorite show I can get. Where? Do you have any shows coming up? Um, I do. Starting in November, I'll be performing again. Um, I'm planning to throw my own concert after I release my EP. Look out for the EP, E3, is dropping in December. Yeah, let's get into that. So talk to me a little bit about this. I really I'm really excited about this because as you know, your songs I'm heavy in my rotation, so <laughs> there's that. Um so tell me a little bit about the project coming up, what's on it, producers wise and 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 give us your synopsis. Um well I ain't dropped a mixtape in two years. It's mm-hmm. twenty eighteen. My last mixtape came out in twenty sixteen, which was before my son was born, so it's been a it's been a nice little gap, a nice little stretch. Um, my mixtapes are real organic, and they come from like a real place, so it's like hard for me to put one together, and it's like nothing going on. Like yeah. my first ever mixtape was motivated by a loss that I took. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, my second one, my son was on the way, so I was real motivated. This one, it's been a lot of negative shit going on in my life, so I kind of just been motivated. Like, it's hard for me to write as an artist with nothing going on. Because yeah. all my music is, like, based on shit that's really going on. So, based on how this last year has been going, like, it's really been pushing me to get in the studio and I have shit to talk about when I'm in there. So, this mixtape will be crazy. It's, like, ups, downs, everything else. Like, it's everything everybody want to know about Sean Brown. It's going to be on the table, I promise. Like, it's, it's just who I am. So I okay. think it's gonna be like it. And I've made a lot of connections and I, I really still like this time I'm out there, you know what I'm saying? Like my first two, I'm trying to get out there. This time I'm, I know people that know people, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. and people know me now. So I feel like when I drop this one it's gonna the love's gonna be there. I'm gonna have real, you know what I'm saying, love from the industry and um, I'm gonna get a surprise feature on there, you know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm gonna go throw a big name. This is gonna be the first mixtape that I actually have a big name on the mixtape. Not gonna tell you who it is just yet. All right, you, know you plugged in. You heard it here first. <laughs> this is the plug. That's what's up. All right. So, are you excited about dropping this project? Are you nervous? How you feeling about it? I ain't nervous at all. I don't think I'm gonna be nervous to the day before. I'm just ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I'm ready, it's time, I'm ready to you know? get the music recorded. I'm ready to get the promotion started. I'm ready to get it released. Like, just put it out into the universe and once you know, it you do it's gonna come back I'm trying to see what happens after that but i really i feel like i'm really excited about this one more so than anything else it's just like it's time some stuff just feel like it's just time to do it so i'm excited and it's more so an ep i meant to mention this this, this, this one's not just a mixtape this one is, i'm actually putting more of an album touch on it you know what i'm saying i'm gonna make sure every song is mastered and mixed to its best Ability, you know what I'm yeah. saying? I'm really gonna put a lot into it, so this one is just the one. All right, that's so exciting. This one. Yeah. So make sure y'all stay tuned, stay plugged in. E3 is coming soon. Shout out my boy Sean Brown, running me to the crib. It's lit.